Welcome back to the Age of Empires 4 media preview. And here we have a cast a game between FB Kaspa as the Rus and the Sniper AoE playing as the Holy Roman Empire. Now I have uh, played against Kafsa before on the ladder. Uh, and I think maybe played against uh, the Sniper AoE in the previous beta, but we'll have to see how these guys do. Let me introduce their positions on the map here. So in the Southeast corner, we have uh, FB Kasva playing uh, as the Roos here in the color blue. And on the other side, we will have the Sniper AoE playing here in the red color. Now he is playing as the Holy Roman Empire and uh, you know, they get these bonuses from these prelits. You see him training one right out of the gate, costs 100 coin, and he'll be using that prelit to uh, empower or rather give uh, some inspiration to these villagers. You'll see him go to work immediately. There we go. And when they're under that inspiration, they carry 40% more resources um, and they also gather resources 40% faster. So it's a common thing right out of the gate to uh, train that prelit. So if the original villagers go into food, he sent a, a new villager out to gold, and now we'll have two villagers on gold. Let's go see what Kasva is up to down here. Okay, so he's eating his initial sheep. Now they're under his town center. Now the Roos, they get gold from this bounty bonus. So as they kill animals, they get a bounty of gold. And they can actually, as you can see here, unlock these different tiers uh, of these bounties, which give different bonuses. Like the first tier is 5% hunting uh, harvest rate, and then those hunting cabins generate gold every 27 seconds, then 24, then 18 with each tier. You get the point. So because of that, they in fact do not need to uh, gather gold in the first age if they do not want to in order to get to the second age. Now he is throwing down a mining camp. Maybe he hasn't discovered uh, this to be the case yet, but I have actually seen players just kill animals uh, in the first age to get enough gold to age up. Very interesting thing about the ruse. Okay, so meanwhile, Sniper just uh, head, going ahead, stacking up his resources. He's going to be shooting for that 400 food and 200 gold, which is the threshold you need to age up to the second age. And uh, we'll see uh, what he decides to age up with. And if you'll decide to do uh, some early minute arms, as we know, is a very powerful tactic with the Holy Roman Empire. They are an infantry-based civ. Um, now, what Kasva should be doing right now um, since you do get that bounty from killing animals is you actually want to run around with this scout and kill any animal you can find. Uh, so if he finds any herds of deer, let's reveal the map a little bit here. Uh, he will want to go ahead and, and slaughter those. Um, did he do that down here? He did not. Maybe he didn't scout that yet, uh, but that would be a way he could get some, uh, some gold right out of the gate. Now I did see a player aging up. I think that might've been, there we go. Going up with the Kremlin. Now the Kremlin uh, is a lumber camps and town centers within the influence of a wooden fortress return 20% more wood. So this will, these guys will return more wood being within the influence of this. Acts as a wooden fortress that comes with arrow slits, castle turrets, and castle watch technology. So a defensive landmark as it's described. Uh, let's see what Sniper AoE is going up with. And Sniper is going up with the Aachen Chapel, which I believe is the absolute best option for aging up with the Holy Roman Empire. Um, with this Aachen Chapel, uh, you can put a single prelate inside of it, and it will do an area of effect uh, influence. So instead of this prelate having to run around and, and uh, empower these villagers, he can just jump inside this Aachen Chapel. So it's a great way uh, to just get a lot of influence. And you see he has his berry bushes, his wood, his town center. A lot of uh, villagers will be within the influence aura of this uh, wonder, or landmark rather. And there you go. You see uh, 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 Kaspa has been going out and slaughtering the hunts and uh, building up that bounty. Let's see uh, his progress towards that bounty right now. Let me see, he's got uh, currently 85 at 100. He'll get that bonus, so he wants to keep moving along. You see all the slaughtered deer. This is going to be a common sight in games against Roost players. Uh, you will see them out here um, killing the deer. And they can also synergize with this. Uh, they can train more scouts from their... I, I, believe, I believe it's from their, their hunting... Uh, what's it called? Their uh, uh, a hunting cabin. And then they could go out and actually pick these up if they get the tech for it and bring them back home. So I've seen players do that. Okay, so we're in the second age now. Both players hitting the second age just about the same time. Um, as far as age of time is going, a wooden fortress going down here on the gold. 
which we're using for line of sight um and he can jump in there if he's under attack um again this will make uh uh the wooden fortresses return 20 percent more wood of lumber camps and townships within the influence i'm not sure if they stack i would bet they don't stack there's no indicator on here that this is currently okay there it is there's the wooden for fortress influence so i don't think it's going to stack he's probably using that more as just like a defensive building right now maybe he builds a lumber camp over here but this one already gets it a little redundant but he just wants that defensive i guess um and this is pretty defensive too so i mean he's got <laughs> a lot of defenses out here but uh just wanted to protect maybe he senses an early rush coming in from the sniper let's see what sniper AOE is doing He's starting out his barracks. No surprise here. We're probably going to see some men in arms coming out, costing food and gold. He has garrisoned his prelate inside of his Aachen Chapel that he aged up with. So all these villagers you can see right now are currently uh, getting that boost from that influence. And uh, meanwhile, uh, let's check out this current score. Probably yeah, pretty close right now. Not a whole lot to see right now. Let's just stay on the current resource for now. He is throwing out his second barracks and a house. Um, so I think we're going to see um, an early push here out of uh, the Sniper AOE. Um, so maybe uh, Kaspa is, uh, you know, just lucky with this. It doesn't appear that he's scouted yet. He has built a wooden fortress out here um, just to protect for, for him to hunt and is going to be building a hunting cabin. Now, these hunting cabin cabins are unique to the roost and villagers can drop food off of them, kind of like a, a granary, right? Um, it houses technology to prove food and produces scouts. The most interesting thing is generates gold based on the number of nearby trees. The gold rate decreased by nearby hunting cabins. So you can't stack them up by each other. So you can see right now he'll get two gold per minute and that will actually increase. This will uh, hunting cabins generate gold every 27 seconds. So that goes up actually um, as he gets his next uh, when he gets to tier two. And he's almost there. He's at 175. Has to keep working. Uh, an interesting little thing uh, about the roost um it's kind of uh, similar to what i feel like the torps are from agent Empires 3 if you play that a generating building a resource generating building uh, but he's obviously got a lot of defense here several wooden fortresses he's got a defensive landmark and now he's throwing down a house um, but no military buildings at the moment let's see what the sniper aoe is up to um and up here on the north side he is starting to train some units we see spearmen actually no men in arms <laughs> you know what's really funny? I messaged Sniper AoE saying, hey, I'm about to cast your game. And he's pinging me on Steam right now, hoping he doesn't uh, spoil the game for me. <laughs> so we'll have to chat with him after the game and see what he thought. Okay, so here are the Spearmen coming out. And uh, I'm, I'm interested to see that he start with Spearmen. Maybe he's really expecting, you know what, the uh, the Roost do get access to an early night. Maybe he anticipate that being uh, in play here. Um uh, I also am curious if he's just going for cheaper units and is going to try to go uh, do a ram rush. That could be a possibility as well. Uh, but so far, build order seems really clean. Um, he's got three unit, three buildings pumping out uh, infantry already. Uh, it seems uh, not be missing a beat. Uh, plenty of yeah, he's almost over gathering food. If you look how many villagers he's got queued up at the moment, so no second town center. I don't think for either player. Um, and meanwhile, uh, his scout. The scout has stopped, but really he should be moving. He should kill that wolf. He should be moving around. Actually, I don't know if the scout kills the wolf. I think he does, um, but killing more deer just to get as, as the maximum uh, bounty as he could at the moment. Um, it looks to me as if Caspa is maybe going for a, a fast castle, perhaps, because this is rather defensive. He doesn't even train any archers up yet. Just throwing a stable down right now. Um, perhaps he's going for castle. And you know what? We mentioned it, that he might be doing this. And what do we see? A spear started to build a... A ram and he stopped but there we go he could see that within the line man look at that line of sight I, maybe it's because they're up on a hill man these just have massive line of sight throwing down another wooden fortress but that wooden fortress isn't going to take care of the battering ram though villagers are highly effective against battering rams so we'll have to see uh how this goes he's going for this to see if he's training any mini arms behind this we've got some more spearmen and uh doesn't see okay minute uh, minute arm finally starting to be queued up here to back up the spearmen um, so maybe he just went for some cheaper options of training the, the spearmen um, and is going to just make a few rams here. But, uh, you know, this is going to be a little bit tough. There's a lot of defensive uh, buildings here. Um, maybe if he can get a few rams, it won't be a big deal. Um, but he's going to have to figure out how he's going to hold this off. Starting to train some archers. Certainly going to help. He can garrison them in here and it will uh, boost the attack. You already see he has four villagers garrison it right now. He's researching arrow slits um, to just increase the damage output of this 
of this tower, the, the wooden fortress rather. And uh, we're about to see uh, whether this ram rush is going to work for him. Uh, uh, more wooden fortresses in the back. <laughs> so Kaska really trying to lean on these wooden fortresses. And I, I think as soon as he saw these uh, rams, he's got to be second guessing. Will they work? Will they be strong enough? Now they do have 2000 HP. Town center also has 7000 HP. Um, looks like he's going straight for the town center. Um, under fire from uh the several uh defensive buildings but those rams are gonna be able to tank that for a while he wants to get those villagers on top of them and here you go we see men at arms getting in on the action uh, but these infantry might get wiped out by these uh these towers quite easily you see the t the uh ram going down by that villager not gonna be able to get a whole lot of damage in and the second ram is definitely going to be going down villagers putting up a defense and the tower is just mopping up the infantry the men arms uh doing okay now there are still okay some of those popped out of that ram there as once they realize they're on damage and he is going to retreat and it looks as though so, uh casca has pulled off a pretty successful uh hold though he did lose a few villagers there um so certainly we'll set his economy out just a little bit sitting on 33 villagers versus uh the sniper's villager he's got 34 so they are pretty close and he is starting to move up with some uh, archers to uh, shoot the men-at-arms. But as you can see, archers are just not very effective against men-at-arms. He needs to pull back, stay underneath that town center, stay underneath those defensive structures. Because those men-at-arms are going to be a big problem for him. I mean, honestly, Castro probably should be pushing to get to this next age. So he has some better solutions for the men-at-arms. But meanwhile, Snake Ray Lee not letting up on the ram game. He's got another ram up already. Um, engaging these uh, archers uh, right in, in range. But okay, they are going to back up. Um, and in comes another battering ram, uh, not going for the town center this time. It looks like he is going to be going perhaps after this, uh, this tower. Uh, but I, I feel like he's just hemorrhaging units maybe right now. He's get, but at the same time, he knocked out some archers. Probably wants to garrison those archers at the moment. Um, so kind of some awkward engagements here. Not a whole lot of progress on other players part, but, uh, right now, uh, starting to get some hits on that tower. He's going to need a mic, uh, pop out his uh, men at arms here at some point. Um, and we'll see the men at arms. Maybe they'll get some quick hits on some villagers here. But that uh, ram's definitely going to go down. And there we go. It is is down. And that fortress, as you see, the, those, uh, those wooden fortresses, they just uh, are tanks. It's going to take more than just one ram to poke that thing down. Um, and, and currently, uh, it seems like the investment in the wooden fortresses is certainly paying off at the moment for Casca. Now, let's take a look at the military we can see what's going on. So Kasva has lost 20, or sorry, killed 26 units, lost 10. You can see Sniper Way has lost units. So right now, Defender's Advantage currently uh, definitely uh, being a, a big factor here. But he needs to keep his economy on track despite all this pressure he's currently under. Um, my interesting Sniper keeps making like individual rams. Um, now he's starting to get a mass of minute arms. He does have, uh, I can't tell if he has his first upgrade on these. I think he does. I wish there was a little more clear indication of when they've had an upgrade, like that plus one or plus two or something. It's like, I'm not sure if they started with three and then got plus one to get to four. Uh, it may be something nice that could be helpful for the UI, but maybe we'll see that in the future. Okay, so Sniper is pulling back uh, with... Uh, now these archers, they think they're strong against... Uh, here we go. Look at that. Uh, the uh, the stealth forest actually came into play. He was able to flank around and get the drop on those archers. Good tactics, good use of the terrain. Um, and though you think archers might be good against infantry, men at arms or armored units, these archers just aren't going to do the job. He wants to stay back, stay defensive. He's had some pretty nice, uh, pretty much victories at the moment. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> uh, Sniper is literally messaging me saying, let's play. Hold on. I need to message him back. <laughs> I'm just telling him I'm casting his game. <laughs> so maybe I'll get a game against uh, get Sniper after this. So this is good. We, can, we should go over here and study his tactics. Let's see what he's up to. <laughs> okay. So we've got the barracks. Uh, he's training some more spearmen. He has transitioned in the farms. Uh, it looks like he did build a palisade wall at some point for defense. We've been looking at the other base for so long. Um, and it uh, looks like he's doing okay at the moment. Uh, moving out with some spearmen. Uh, in, oh, taking a... <laughs> I look away for a second. He's back again with the ram. Uh, taking an attack on this, uh, <laughs> this tower. So here we go. We got uh, archers uh, taking some shots at the men in arms and the spearmen. But I think this tower may go down. Uh, there are eight villagers inside that. So it would be nice for the men-at-arm to pick those up. But not sure if they will. Will those villagers pop out and, and start hitting that ram here at the last second? 
Um, we might see that happen. Um, but right now, he's just staying in the shelter. Okay, he is on fire. He's got to do something. That tower is going to be going down. Spearman taken out. And you see, still, if we go back to the military score, Latin is dying for Sniper OE, but he is uh, idling villagers. And there you go. Um, he does finally get uh, his first building down. Um, I don't know how many rams had to die for this. Now, on the mean side, look at this. We have more wooden fortresses going up. And boy, I, I, I think if you see this as Sniper, he's got to like, he's got to realize he's got to pull back as though he might be okay with this one round. This is a lot of buildings. This is a lot to throw H2 units at. He's going to want some more significant siege. Um, and we're just really seeing the defensive capabilities of the Rus here right now. Caspa doing uh, a good job holding off the advancing uh, Holy Roman Empire. His men in arms are notoriously strong here in the Second Age. Um, and with these towers, you know, okay. But on the downside, he's had a lot of idle time. And right now, currently, this is his only food production um, as you see them run in to go idle. So his uh, economy is kind of at a standstill at the moment. He is uh, gathering wood, and that could be a huge factor over time here. Um, how's Caspa going to keep his economy moving? In the meanwhile, uh, in the contrast, Sniper's uh, economy has been moving at full force. Uh, does he have a second town center? Does not have a second town center yet. Um, looking at the villager count, we've got 46 villagers here for Sniper, um, and Caspa has... 40. So, uh, villager county is hit by six, but look at this. Look at the idols. Just lots of idle time there. Now, one thing you can do for garrisoning your villagers, something good to know, and it took me a little bit to notice, is if you press G when you click your villagers, they will seek shelter at the nearest building. So, you can just collect all your villagers, hit G, and then go in the building when you want them to get back out. Uh, you can press the button for them to eject, and they will go back to the task. So it's kind of interesting. It feels a little bit different than some of the AOE games. Uh, so it's definitely going to take some time to get used for, used to. Okay, so he was gathering all this wood, and now we see him transitioning to farms here under the safety of his base. Um, there are some berries here, which he could start getting. He's got a hunting cabin going down, so he's going to start gathering those berries. Uh, so that's certainly going to be helpful. And uh, meanwhile, let's uh, see. It looks like... Uh, <laughs> I, I guess I should have maybe hidden this part, because we do see... Uh, that uh, the game, I guess, ends at the 26 minute mark. So a little bit of a spoiler, but uh, we'll have to see who does uh, end up winning this. Um, let's see what is going on for Sniper's uh, camp. Now, I just saw Casper uh, has a lot of gold, and that is probably in part to his bounty starting to really add up. Um, we do see him uh, advancing to age three with the cathedral. This cathedral is just so strong. It generates 200% uh, gold every minute um, and can hold three relics. Um, so... You put your relics inside this cathedral, it's just a, a great boost to you. Um, and so his gold is just going to be flowing in once he gets that. Definitely probably S tier wonder in the game right now, for sure. Because um, so Kaspa had that gold. We see now he's, he's catching up on the food, and now he's in a place to age up. And I would say he's turned his economy, got it back going. Uh, a good transition to farms, um, and doesn't seem to be missing a beat. He's going to age up a little bit slower than Sniper. But he's doing okay right now. So uh, this is still anyone's game. And, you know, I don't think this is something you can laugh at. But look how many towers he has up. So he's going to be in a nice fortified position here uh, from any advancing. Uh, you can only assume there'll be some, hopefully, some trebuchet action from Sniper. Um, he's probably going to want to get some Springholds to defend his in his emplacements. Um, and do some action. Now we got, uh, meanwhile, on the north side, some raids going on. I don't know if he got a, a villager uh, there. But we did have a little bit of raid going on there. Um... Military score. Caspa has gotten more kills just with towers. Now, I'm not sure if with light cavalry you want to just be engaging these spears. Uh, that's going to be devastating. See all these light cavalry basically low health now, um, and now he's going to have to pull back, uh, and those are going to be uh, be wiped out pretty quickly unless he decides to heal those up. Let's go see what uh, sniper is up to at the moment. Uh, getting gold, getting food. I'm assuming he's going to go out and find his relics. Uh, we see. Look at these. Those are the spearmen. It's very interesting. This map has a lot of these forests, which. Uh, with that that block your line of sight because look at this he's he's got like no line of sight while he's inside of here and then he gets a little <laughs> a lot of stealth forest uh, I, I i can imagine in the future we're gonna see so many crazy tactics for people using this force um just to sneak their army by just because it blocks all of your line of sight so those relics are going to come back uh he picked those up at the prelit and they will go inside the cathedral get hold three and we'll start generating the gold that he will want let's look at the current resources uh snipers currently banked a significant amount of food um, and he's got some gold. Does he has he upgraded his men in arms? Uh, it, 
does not look like he has gotten upgrades for his minion arms. They say that as he clicks it right now. So he's upgrading his minion arms, throwing out none of barracks. So I imagine we're going to see a minion arm spam, and we say that, and look, here we go. Minion arms coming in. He is upgrading uh, his, his minion arms. Another barracks. So he's just trying to spin this res. Um, the gold is really going to start flowing in. So he's got a, a good food income. Going to be boosting that gold income as he grabs these relics. Oh, we got a follow uh, from someone on Twitch, even though we are not live right now. So thanks for that follow. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you head on over to twitch.tv slash Fitzbro and hit that follow to see when I stream Age of Empires 4. And I might be live right now. Okay, Prelitz bringing in a second uh, uh, second relic. You look at this gold per minute. Currently at 100 gold per minute. Now he's at 200 gold per minute. One more put him at 300 gold per minute. Okay, some spears running around. They're not really going to make any progress there. Uh, just, <laughs> man, has he made some more towers? Uh, I, I swear he's thrown up more towers as we last checked in. Um, Kaspa's really determined to win with these towers, but he, he needs to get some army on the field. Uh, I mean, at this point in the game, okay, we do see uh, some of these crossbows in play. Uh, I would like to see him getting a Strelsi unit. Uh, I think they're available in the fourth age, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Uh, yes, that is correct. So if he can get to the fourth age, you can get the Strelzi unit, which is a gunpowder infantry, um, and his unique inf uh, unit for the Roost is very, very strong. High damage, lower cost of hand cannon here. So behind these towers, I think he could afford it. If he could get to age four, perhaps could be a good strategy. But uh, for now, just chilling back. Looking at 44 villagers right now. What's going on up here? We got a raid. Uh, it looks like we got a few villagers picked up uh, from uh, Sniper AUE. So we're racing on uh, 52 villagers. So still ahead on the villager count technically and the hidden villager count. We currently have this cathedral generating 200 gold, at least for the time being. This will make it 300 gold. Um, but on the other side, Caspa has his, his bounty going. Look, oh, he hasn't got a second tier bounty. Oh man, he really should go out there. Are there any hunts left to kill? Let's see, uh, how do I expand this? Uh, let's do revealed map. Yeah, uh, he could kill these deer here. Are there any? There's a boar here he could be killed. Uh, some deer here could be killed. So really, could be still killing more animals to get that bounty. Um, and honestly, yep, here we go. Uh, here comes the the Holy Roman Empire charge. I think we're gonna have a. Uh, oh boy, you do not <laughs> taking those head on. Back up, man. Those are veteran. You don't want to be standing there with your crossbows. Well, the crossbows are good for countering the men at arms, but for spearmen, you want the light archers. The, the, these guys, or not those guys. He doesn't even have them right now. Um, and boy, uh, when those men at arms get here, uh, they're going to be trouble, especially if uh, some rams start showing up. Um, now, all these towers are taking shot at these units. Um, he's hopefully garrisoning inside here his, his uh, economy that we do see some villagers going down at the moment, getting even further behind in the economy game. Uh, plenty of towers, but the towers, look, they're doing work, but they're still not doing um, a ton of fire. I wonder what armory upgrades he has at the moment. Uh, can I click on, where's the armory? I don't know. Does he have an armory? Stable. Stable. Siege workshop. There's an armory. Blacksmith, rather. Okay, so he's got uh, level two uh, for his uh, archer. So he's, he's got his arrows upgraded, and he is actually dealing with... Uh, with this army, but at the same time, his entire economy is currently idle right now. And this is, is I'm afraid this is only going to snowball as a sniper just gets ahead of, in the resource game. He can afford to lose these units to idle the economy. Um, and here we see a lot of man arms, upgraded man arms at that, and they don't even need uh, rams, though he is going to build one there, and they will just start doing some massive damage uh Caspos needs a massive crossbows if he is to defend this but at the moment just no income the entire economy is idled right now and i can only imagine this is going to spell defeat for caspa um i'm not sure how he's going to get out of this maybe some uh really good manga nail shots uh, currently research at the blacksmith the siege engineering which is really probably not what he needs right now doesn't he have a siege workshop like right here yeah so i'm not sure that he even needed that resource but he did go for it um, and you see the towers uh, taking a shot at them in arms as they run around, but his entire economy idled. And what this is one thing to remember, you know, you don't necessarily have to be killing villagers. Idle time is can also be equally valuable, right? No villagers are dying right now, but he's not bringing in any resources. While at the same time, Sniper has been gathering this entire time. 
Uh, nothing stopping him. Um, I would like to see him maybe show up with some stronger siege units right now as he, you know, kind of sees there's no military resistance at the moment. Um, I wonder what's going through Kasva's head of how he's uh, going to deal with uh, fitting off these minute arms and the spearmen. So just using the towers, but I, I don't think there is any strategy to get back in the game. And there we go. Ram's coming in. And as we know, we're close to the end here. Last minute of the game. I'm going to speed that on up and we'll see the Rams moving in, taking out the towers um, and with the minute arm. Um, an early defense, I would say, was nice for Kasva. Uh, with the towers, but he needed to get uh, units out in the field. You're not going to win with towers alone. Um, and he just, the, the idle time cost him. He fell behind in Builders and in his economy. So a good game for these two players. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. I'll be posting tons of AOE4 content and I have plenty of guides to get you started with each of these civilizations on my channel. So until next time, I'll see you guys.